All right, guys, let me shrink OBS. Welcome to another video. I'm doing my, you know, computer from Windows version, I guess you can call it. I have three computers, so um, this is my second computer that I have. And I'm going to kind of show you the computer through Windows. Um, just like I did the other video. So this is a this is a different computer. This is um, the motherboards from EVGA. It's an X99, a little bit older. Um, if you look right over here, you can see the CPU is an i7-6800K at 3.4 gigahertz. I, I haven't overclocked it too much. I think it's 3.6 because it's finicky. It doesn't I've had issues. I had it at 4 gigahertz, but then things started freezing. So, But I have 16 gigs of memory. Let's see if I print that up. There you go. Yep. On this computer. Uh, of course, it's an 8 core. No, sorry. 6 core. 6 core, 12 threads. Um, compared to my other computer that I have. Let me get rid of some of this stuff sorry okay so the motherboards in EVGA um, if you look right over here you can see the the actual computer itself um, it's a thermal take I think it's a thermal take view 70 case it's a big case it's got four um, all the sides have glass top the left and right and the front are glass panels, actual glass panels. And it's all thermal take. Um, thermal take fans, thermal take CPU cooler, which I believe yep, is a 280 CPU killer, CPU cooler, all in one cooler from thermal take. So I'll start off right here. This is the uh, RGB plus Thermal take RGBS plus software. That's this is what you use to control the fans and the lights. Instead of having Corsair, it's actually thermal take. Um, and I have some pro profiles already set up. So if I click on three, this is my all-in-one cooler. As you can see, there's the pump. And then these are the two fans. And then this one right here is actual a fan, I believe, is on the back of the case. So I hit that, you might even hear it through the mic because I have a little desk mic on the desk that I'm using. Hopefully you can hear me okay. You'll see it rev up. So when I'm, you know, same thing when I'm gaming, I'll, I'll rev these up to performance. This is a little different software. You, know, you got silent, then you have performance. And then the lights, and here's the lighting modes kind of in the same area yep. and I have them set to pretty much red as you can see red and just kind of flashing red you can change them to different colors but I usually keep them at red and then this one right here these are the fans one two three fans that are in the front of my case so let's kind of power them up here let's see if you can hear it I wonder if you can actually hear it you might pick it up off the mic because on this computer, like I have RTX voice on the other computer, I don't have an RTX video card on this computer, so. Um, so maybe you can actually hear them rev up, but you see they went from, what was it, five or 600 RPMs to 1600, that's as high as they go. 1600 RPMs is as high as they go, Thermotake fans. And then these two, fans um, I have one I think on the top of the case and two on the bottom of the case you can see them through the webcam not sure if you can see them but anyways and those I usually keep the same I don't usually rev those up you know because it's a huge case it's a pretty good size case so let me go back to here so that's the thermal take RG RGB plus software for all the Thermotake fans and all-in-one cooler. The memory I think I have is coarse air memory. Uh, let me go check what I have here. Actually, it won't be there. It'll be on this. Memory. This is CPU Z in real temperature like I have on the other computer. And I have task manager up. I do have another monitor on this computer. It's, it's up above 
you can't really see it. I keep all this stuff, these four applications, up on top of my monitor. Um, but it's, uh, yeah, 3200 megahertz. Yep. And then like this computer, I have, let's bring up the EVG X1 Precision, like I did over there, or my other computer. So as you can see, this is a GeForce GTX 1080, uh, 1080 Ti for the Win 3. <laughs> so basically I go for those, when they come out with these Ti versions for the Win 3 EVGA, I mean, top of the line video, top of the line video card, so I usually get them. And this was half the price of the 2080 Ti. This was about $850, $900 compared to the 2080 Ti, which was another six or $700. NVIDIA gouging you. So same thing here. Fan speeds are all set automatic. I got the fan curves I set custom. So same thing as, you know, your basic EVGA Precision X1 software. You can overclock it. Oh yeah, I do have a little overclock. 50. 250 on the memory. 50 on the uh, GPU. So it goes around, I think it goes up to around 2.25 gigahertz. You know, once I'm, if I'm gaming or which I could maybe show you if I pull up a game. Alright, let's shrink that. Um, let me see the the hard drives on this computer are a little different. I do have mechanical hard drives, as you can see, there's a bunch of them. But when I put Windows on it, it it split up a couple. You know, it partitioned the hard drive, system reserved, and Windows tools. And I haven't, I don't know, I haven't deleted them. It kind of stinks when I put Windows on this computer. It kind of messed it up. But anyway, so C is um. Let's bring up my Samsung Magician software again. Let's move this over here, over here. So I have a little more room on this monitor because it's a uh, LG 35-inch um, monitor, Ultra HD. So it's a wide G-Sync, 144 hertz. So it's a nice monitor. So I have a little more room. So this is the um, C drive right here, which is the S860 EVO, 500 gigs. As you can see the read and write speeds. And then, what's the other one I have? I'm, this one's really tricky. What's this one? Oh yeah, this is the, uh, right here. Another 850 EVO, 250 gigs. Yep, this is this drive right here. So I got a 500 gig for C. I got, this is just my programs that I download and use. Um, that's the 250 gig. And then this drive, as you can see, it's a two point, almost three terabyte hard drive. And where is my other one? Right here. These two hard drives are actual mechanical hard drives which are down, I wanna fight actually right here. Yeah, right here. Yep, so here's this one right here. You can see the read, the read and write speeds on the regular mechanical hard drives, you know, 139, which is 139 megabits per second to 135 write compared to even like a standard SSD. It's like five times the speed. So even a normal SSD, you know, they, they're they just wonderful hard drives. I mean, you've got to have them. Mechanicals are good for backups and stuff like that. And you can play games on them. I mean, I think the 7200 RPM mechanical hard drives are perfectly fine for games. Not the newer games, but older games, I think they work just fine. So I have the, the three terabyte here, and here's the, the two terabyte right here. This one and this one. And these, I just, it's just for backup, really. Recordings, I back up all my recordings from my, my external hard drive, like I said before. It's just backups. And sometimes I'll back them up on both hard drives. You know, I do both, just to have a double backup. And then, let's see, and then these two drives right here, these are two terabyte 
A data NVMe drives that I have. And actually, oh, right here, here they are. There they are, right there. I'll bring them up. And these are two terabyte um, NVMe drives that I use the PCI Express bus again, because I only have one, I only have one MV, NVMe drive uh, port on my motherboard. It's an older motherboard, X99, but at least it still had it. <laughs> so, and you can see the read and write speeds for these. These are really nice compared to, like I said, a regular hard drive. Look at the regular hard drive. I'll bring it up right here. There's a regular mechanical hard drive. And then this is the NVMe drive. I mean, it's uncomparable. It's ridiculous. You know. So these two drives, usually I, I, I keep mostly just games on them and then other programs that I need that speed for, especially when like I'm transforming. If I record this video, I record it to that drive because it's fast. You know, if I edit it, I'll edit it off of that drive because it's fast. So, But anyway, those are my drives on this computer. Let me close Samsung's Magician. This I'll just shrink. And like... Like the other computer I have, I do have Lightworks on this computer. Let's bring it up. This is these, this is the other computer that I actually I paid for it, twenty five dollars a month. Which my look at my license expires in eleven days. I think it's to buy this just to buy this outright. It's four hundred and seventy dollars. So I can imagine what Premiere. I think Premiere, like Adobe Premiere, you rent. I think or something like that I'm not sure but this is the video I um, I finished on this on this drive but it, oh, this is a different one a different video it's my car um, but I tried to export this and it, I don't know, my computer kept crashing this is Lightworks. Like I said, I have it on, on both computers. Oh, here's the video. Yeah, this is the one right here. This is the one I tried to hey guys, um, good morning. Hope everybody render on this good computer and, and it kept freezing. And I don't know if it was. Or, I, do have, you know, I do have 12 cores. But... I am not. I am heading out. I'm not sure. Ride. But Lightworks I have on this computer it's also. Dump. It's Sunday. Um... Let me close that out. And then I think I have um, Steam, because I do play games on this 144 hertz LG widescreen 35 inch monitor, and it's it's really nice. I'll, I'll, I'll bring up a game later. Maybe I'll do that. I have time. Um, here's the uh, Media Human program I have too that I make those mp3 into wave formats free software so I was gonna say um, of course I have OBS running I use that for this yep see my computer yep. to record and the great great software I was gonna say I, I thought I had DaVinci where is it oh I don't have it on this computer that's right I don't Nope. Nope, I don't. I thought I did, but oh, here's the uh, crucial. Let me see. This is crucial storage executive. This is for my. Oh yeah, I think it's my two NVMe drives that I have are crucial. I thought they were a data, but maybe not. Where'd it go? And it's not going to open. Oh, it's up on my top monitor. Hold on a second. <laughs> oh, there it is. Nope, my bad. My bad. There it is. So another um, storage um, software that you can, most um, hard drive manufacturers do have programs for their hard drives, you know, so you can update the uh, firmware and all that stuff. So, but it does show my SSDs, my Western Digitals, my Samsung SSD, Samsung SSD. And then, yep, here's my XPG and A data. Okay. Yep. But another piece of software I use. Okay. Enough of that crap.
Let's um let's part a game. So I got my fans at max. Let's play a game. Let's bring up Steam. And we'll play how about Rainbow Six Siege? Let's play that. We'll play it on the Vulcan platform, which is supposed to be smoother and better. Or I usually do I shrink that? Okay, let's see how I do. Usually I have my headset on so I can hear them walking, but. Uh, uh oh. Yes. Yes, I do. I want to do that. Yeah, I upgraded. I got the five year pass. I forgot I got to play that tonight on Rainbow Six Siege. Me and my kid were playing last night. So I have new operators. I forgot I had that. Okay, let's see if I can play like this. Usually I play kind of sitting back like this with the keyboard in my lap, but I'm just gonna show you what it looks like on this screen. Let's take a little time to load because it's a, it's a heavy duty game. I think it's 60 gigs. Games are changing. Like I remember games used to be a gig, you know, one gig for a game. Now it's 60 gig. I downloaded the game. Oh, it was 130 gigs. Wow. I forgot the name of that. It was. Um, oh, my brain. Okay. Let me just play a little bit here. Show you what it said. There's a 144 hertz refresh rate. Oh, here my video card fans ramping up. I should put a microphone on that. Shoot, should have thought of that. <laughs> okay, so let's let me go to settings here. I'm not sure what I set things at because I want to do matchmaking. Here it is. Protect hostage. Uh, let's go elimination. Turn off protect hostage. Oh, and then let's go. We'll go um, on, 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 on. You can set the different, um, had different ways of playing the game. Different match preferences you can set. You can turn off certain maps. Hit play. Training ground, because I'm training, technically. Lone Wolf. Okay, so basically I just gotta kill these guys. Let's see if I can do it. Like I said, I usually have my headset on so that way you can hear them coming. So I just wanna show you a quick video. Ah, who cares where we go. And I'll play her. All right, let's see what we do. Eliminate all of the terrorists. Here's my fans. Yeah. Where is it? Oh man. Oh, I'm in the wrong side. <laughs> uh, you gotta go to the right building, Ray. Come on, stick your head out. Quick video, I'm not gonna... Oh! It's like I said, I can't hear things. Oh, got me from the stairs. Anyway. Quick video of Rainbow Six Siege on this 34 inch monitor. Let me update this a little. 
Alright, so let's leave this. Anyways, that's the EVGA, I guess you can call it, X99 build. But that's it. Oh, let me bring up... Oh yeah, I already did my video card, sorry. I keep losing my brain. Of course, Google Chrome. Let's bring that up. Across, I'll bring up my channel. And there's my videos. But anyways. So thanks for watching. That is my EVGA X99 computer build, which I custom built myself. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave some comments. I don't mind. Nothing hurts me. Just leave whatever you think. Thoughts on it. It's an older computer, but it plays some pretty good games. And with the 144 hertz, and I have a 1080Ti with a 140 hertz monitor, it's really, really nice. All right, guys, take care. Stay safe.